too, though. That's all I want, my grand kids. That's it, I just... November 4th, 1975 is where this trap story starts. The birth of Memphis basketball legend Lorenzen Wright. Lorenzen was born in Oxford, Mississippi and raised by both parents. At an early age, she fell in love with basketball. Standing at six foot, 10 inches tall, a foot taller than most of the students at his high school, it made it easy for him to stand out. After his junior year, at Lafayette High School located in Oxford, Mississippi, he decided to transfer to a Memphis high school named Booger T. Washington to better his chances of being seen by colleges. Hard work paid off as he became a McDonald's All-American and also receiving a number of scholarship opportunities. But he chose to stay close to home and attended the University of Memphis. After a solid freshman year and a standout sophomore season, Wright declared himself for the NBA draft. Drafted number seven by the Los Angeles Clippers, Wright's professional career started. Shortly after, he married longtime girlfriend Cheryl Wright, who was five years his elder, and he also went on to father seven kids with her. Wright felt like he was living the American dream. After playing three seasons in LA, Wright got picked up by the Atlanta Hawks. After a short stint in Atlanta, Lorenzen was picked up by the Memphis Grizzlies in 2001. Back close to his roots, Wright was a staple in his community, but tragic struck in 2003 when his 11 month old suddenly passed away. Sierra Wright. In 2009, after a 13 year career, Lorenzen found himself broke divorced and in debt. With no other lucrative options at the time, Lorenzen turned to a childhood friend to see if he could help. His friend told him he should sell some of his car and that he knew a buyer for some. The cash he made helped out short term, but still, financially, it was a struggle. Shara and Lorenzen stayed miles away from each other. They were in contact daily. Shara asked Lorenzen to come to Memphis and spend some intimate time with her and to visit his children. July 18, 2010, Shara met up with Lorenzen shortly after he arrived in Memphis. After spending the day together, Shara said he left the house with close to $100,000 in cash and drugs. She said she never saw him again. After a couple days of not hearing from him, his family on July 22, 2010, filed a missing person report to the Memphis Police Department. On July 28, where everyone feared it happened, the bullet riddled, decomposed body of Lorenzen Wright was found in a wooded area near Hatcross Road in Memphis, Tennessee. Shortly after his body was found, the media received information that a 911 call was made from Lorenzen's phone, where the dispatcher said while talking to the caller, she heard 11 shots. Georgetown 911, where's your emergency? Hello? 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 The reason is unknown why the dispatcher didn't report the call to her supervisor until eight days later, which was July 27th, which eventually led authorities to the location of his death. 
His family demanded justice, led by his mother refusing to give up. Rumors surfaced that he may have been targeted in the cartel hit after finding out the car buyer from his friend was connected to a Memphis drug lord Craig Pettis. Pettis was well connected to the Mexican cartel, but his mother was pleading with authorities to arrest Cheryl. But Cheryl claimed she was innocent. Have any part of Tim Lorenzo's murder? And at first, I'm a wife, then I'm a mother. No one was arrested or suspected until seven years later. In between that time, Shara wrote a book titled Mr. Tell Me Anything when she said it was based on her and Lorenzen's relationship. The book revealed a alleged abusive and unfaithful situation she claimed she was in during the marriage. In the book, Mr. Tell Me Anything gets murdered, similar to how Lorenzen did. During an interview with a Memphis news reporter, she also said she was planning on writing a sequel, but a sequel was never wrote because November 9th, 2017, the weapon that killed Lorenzen Wright was recovered from a lake in Walnut, Mississippi after receiving a tip from her first cousin, Jimmy Martin. On December 5th, 2017, Billy Turner, member at the church, Shara attended and owner of a lawn service that maintained Shara's yard was arrested at the register at a convenience store in Memphis. After speaking with detectives and giving them evidence, 10 days later, the person the reason right mother had been saying killed him for years was finally in custody. Shara Wright his ex-wife and mother of his seven kids was being charged for his murder after Billy Turner named her in his statement along with evidence proving her involvement. The family was outraged. In her first court appearance, his mother shouted out loud, asking, why did you kill my son? After numerous court appearances, Cheryl, she was convicted of conspiracy to commit murder and sentenced to 30 years for her part of the crime. The reason family was happy she was going to jail, but told the media her going to jail still won't bring him back. Thank you, sir. But Cheryl, I want to thank you for giving me my grandchildren. That's what I want to thank you for. But I want you to unlock them so I can visit them, so they can see their grandma. Because Sophia keep calling. She wants to come make chicken and dumplings. She wants to come and make just to make chicken and dumplings. I want her to come. And the twins are going to be playing basketball near us now, so we want to see them too. We want them to be talking, let them know we didn't do anything to them. We didn't lie to them or anything. We just love them. We just want to see them. That's all. I want you to get the kids and let them know we didn't do anything to them. We love them. We want to see them. But yeah. trail does say, hey, you know, trail does say, you know how the baby triplets for like, what, three months? That trail does say, man, she misses his nephews. And trail finna be 20, and they're not going to see him be here at 20. But I want you to call that. No, it's okay. Talk to your girl. Her co-defendant, Billy Turner, wasn't convicted until three years later. In March 2022, he was sentenced to life without parole for the murder of Lorenz and Wright. In recent interviews, as of 2021, the kids spoke to the media saying they weren't mad at their mother. They said they watched him beat her up growing up. His mother, since his death, has a balloon release and light candles on the anniversary of his death, and she plans to do so until the day that she dies. As far as the kids go, like I said earlier, in 2003, Sierra Wright suddenly passed away at the tender age of 11 months old. Lorenz and Wright Jr., he went on to play Division I basketball for Robert Morris University, where he averaged 16 points a game in 35 appearances, and he also had a short stint with UT Martin. Lauren Wright, 
is now an interpretation specialist at the Art Institute of Chicago. She also graduated with a master's in museums and exhibition studies from the University of Illinois in Chicago. The twins, Shamar and Lamar, attend SIU and they recently competed in the NCAA tournament. Sophia Wright is in her early teens living with family. Lawson Wright has no updated information. Rest in peace to Lorenz and Wright, Memphis basketball legend. Uh, you know, people never know what's going on in the situation. Uh, money brings happiness, but you know, money brings a lot of other things too, like murder, uh, infidelity, crime. The list can go on, but no matter what, everybody still misses Lorenz and we gonna keep saying a prayer for uh, him and his family. You know what I'm saying? And y'all tell me, uh, y'all tell me what y'all think about Lorenz and Wright, you know what I'm saying? And what happened to him in the comment section, man. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, Trap Store.